Welcome back to the nightmare everyone. There's a body. Let's go exploring. So immediately <clears throat> I can't even grab the doorknob so that is not a good sign. <laughs> it's like let me out of this please please help. Like this is <sighs> oh that that made sounds can't carry more batteries. Uh, what what is in my pockets? What is filling up my pockets so much that I can't carry batteries? Like, if I have my wallet on me, if I have my wallet on me, and I broke into an asylum, I deserve to die. Because that is some, like, top grade stupid. So, um, yeah, that guy scares you. Uh, can't wait for that to happen again. So, I'm going to pick up every file I can possibly see because, you know, the story of this game, I, I love it. Like, reading about what they have done to their patients is just god-awful, and, of course, because it's awful, it's just for me. <coughs> so, the Murkoff Corp, United States Office, warrant for seizure case number... In the matter of the seizure <laughs> that I just had... <laughs> uh, let's see here. Affidavits having been made before the board of directors by Murkoff Headline Security, who has reason to believe catastrophic security failure of psychiatric center with imminent danger of uh, environment contamination. We are satisfied that the affidavits and testimony to establish the stiff... <laughs> sufficient evidence... To require urgent action on the part of MHS and grants for the issuance of this warrant, you are hereby required to grant MHS full access to all facilities and surrender complete authority to its agents. By acceptance of this document, you and any surviving relatives surrender all claims of litigation against the Murkoff Corporate subsidiaries for the actions of MHS and the circumstances which require their actions regardless of responsibility. So it's not anything interesting, it's just legal stuff. So. Um, I think I know that I'm supposed to go there, so that means that, um, I have to remember that there is a, there is a battery in the toilet if I need it. Well, not in the toilet, it is just swimming around in somebody's blood, so of course it's supercharged by human flesh! <laughs> Thy flesh consumed, thy hatred burns through you. <laughs> um, let's see here. What have we got? Anything in any drawers, anywhere, at all times. I'm gonna get jumped. Uh, just at any given possible moment. Just put my back to the shelves so I can be, uh quote unquote safe. I will never uh, <laughs> in this game ever consider myself proper safe. Ever, ever, never ever. Uh, Project Wallrider patient statement. Uh, CLW Walker. Yeah, the guy I think that is at the end of the game, right? Uh, 32 male observing physician. Nobody cares because, you know, like <laughs> morphogenic engine activity plateaued at roughly 2000 ppm unsafe to progress beyond stage 3 hormone schedule spirometry revealed light to medium bronchial accumulation MRI scans consistent with patients reported dreams Walker was interviewed in restraints following his self-inflicted mutilations restraint have had to be altered to accommodate his enormous size extensive dermal eruptions are as consistent with failed morphogenic engine cellular activity he claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows for a truer way of seeing oh it's already getting darker <laughs> seems to have some boyhood experience with tuatara lizards and in their parietal eyes, he has expressed anxiety about his flesh, specifically around his lips and nose. Attending orderly should be advised to watch for further self-mutilation. Ooh, baby! <laughs> the mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seem to be retarding progression of the ME process. His predominant fixation, amplified by therapy, is a manic exaggeration of military security protocol. A continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. Okay, yeah, so Walker isn't the, um, the ghost at the end, he is the big dude. Yeah, so, um... Oh, there was something that I was gonna say. 
connected to this. Yeah, so why I talk about dreams a lot, I have really been interested in dream study most of my life, I would say. Like the whole uh, lucid dreaming, dream walking, being able to talk to people in your dreams through their dreams. Like, um, yeah. I don't think he grabs you on the way through, but he grabs you on the way back. We need to remember this. So, okay. So, there are these people, and here's the thing. There will be patients that you can walk around. They're kind of like... Yeah. They have just <laughs> destroyed each other and gone after each other, and they're pretty much not here, so they're not threats. But, okay. Um, I'm crawling under the- this is- that is very loud. Do I need to turn this more down? I might. I have absolutely no idea. But that's just like whistling in my ears. So, hey, friend, uh, how goes it? How's life? How are the kids? You know, this would be funny if it was a reference to five, because I remember the table glitch <laughs> where you could just like, is there going to be something out the window? There's, uh... What is this? Blowing leaves, crows, uh, burning paper, like people burning documents off the roof or something. Okay, so this is a key item. It's a key item, it's a key card, which means as soon as I get it, I'm gonna need to run. Um, oh, yeah, and here's the thing. Here's something that you need to know about me right now, like right away. When I am very stressed, I get very physically sick. Fear... <coughs> fear... could sometimes make me throw up. Uh, and, uh... Not only does my broken PS4 just naturally skip recordings anyway, but if you see a skip and I tell you about it, um... That is me having a mental breakdown. That is something that you will see. Oh. <sighs> I know all of the intricacies of this game, and, uh. <sighs> okay, we're just going to. Yep! <laughs> you know. That last thing that he said, I feel like I've heard his voice before in something else. Like, what would it have been? Like, maybe Scooby-Doo or something? Is that too much to ask for? <coughs> is, uh, is the big guy here yet? <sighs> because I hate... I hate having to hide in the lockers. That is the worst experience that you could ever have. Um, so I have the key card. What do I do with that? Do I go to the, uh, note that you can look behind you, uh, holding the triggers while running. That's not, hmm, that's not a good thing to know. I was almost scared by the running water. Screw you, game. Uh, yeah. Okay, so what? It said... It said, like, security control. Oh, wait. Um... Yeah. So, like, how, how this was all blocked off and that? You see how that, uh, door got busted out? This is when we have to start hiding. Uh, ah! Oh, cr oh Christ. Um. Okay, so they're at the end of the hall. <sighs> okay. Yeah, having, uh, 
having to open doors is not is not cool uh, because anything could be hiding around these doors witness <laughs> reflect on your life witness what you have done something like that maybe uh, let's see if I can find more documents you know what I'm going to quick save yeah <laughs> Yeah, I I am saving right there because I don't want to miss what I have available to me. Oh, I thought that would have been a, like, you know, climb through the vent area, but no, it's just a hanging light, so that doesn't help me at all. Let's, uh, how far down the hallway do I have to get before this guy recognizes me? I think... Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm I'm just gonna bother him purposely. Screw it. Okay. Why should we have to pay for it? Why do we have to die? Walker will kill us just for being sick. We're still people. We didn't choose this. Yeah. Yeah, there are documents that you can pick up, and that's all well and good. And then there's also the stuff that you can record, which I would have to look at a trophy guide again to uh, to get all those, so we're not going to be able to get those, because that really breaks up recordings. I'm sorry to say, so you're only getting like half of the, uh, <coughs> the story, but it's still good regardless. Uh, from Helen Granite. Project Wall Rider on site inspection. Dear sirs, the full report pending. No immediate action is required on the part of the Murkoff Corp. The profit potential of Project Wall Rider remains staggeringly high. The four fatalities contain enough ambiguous data to make any litigation of evidence is correctly managed and possible. Project Wall Rider remains a dangerous initiative, and there will almost certainly be further casualties. As with the others, however, p family and government interest in the patients is so low as to make any chance of legal actions vanishingly unlikely. Violence among patients is increasing as the morphogenic engine therapy gets closer to producing working models, but a combination of physical and chemical restraints has proven sufficiently effective to assure continued control and profit. Respectfully, Helen Granite, Murkoff, legal mitigation. Yeah. Yeah. People are tearing at each other because you are trying to forcefully induce dreamwalking and astral projection. You are splitting people's psyches apart, more or less. <laughs> like, of course, of course, because their minds are torn apart, so too will they do to their bodies. And I am going to give myself a little bit of, uh, a little bit of protection because a little bit of extra protection. Press square to unlock main doors and send the big guy running straight for me. Let's see here. Where do I, where do I see that? Yeah. Yeah. The priest of all people. Hmm. Okay, cool. Yep. And this is something. <sighs> Hide in the locker. Don't try to fight. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. This is the guy that it was talking about that was trying to third eye himself by, uh, you know, slamming his head on the corner of desk or whatever and cracking his forehead open. <laughs> oh, hey, it's a HD version of, uh, what would it be? The Mancubus from Doom. Yeah, you can go now. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. I don't know if I'm safe right now, I'm just going to run. This is me running, 
Okay, that's cool. So, directly where we have to go is the basement. I got away from the big guy. That is cool. We will save again and leave that for the uh, next episode. I hope you are enjoying this. Um, you're in for a real treat. Uh, next one. <laughs> Wish me luck and goodbye.